Welcome adventurers to a world filled with endless possibilities where every choice you make shapes your destiny. Today we dive into the groundbreaking realm of artificial intelligence where dreams merge with reality in the highly anticipated Elder Scrolls 6. Prepare yourself for an extraordinary journey as we explore the forefront of gaming innovation. In this next installment of the iconic Elder Scrolls series, the boundaries of immersion and player agency are shattered thanks to the marvels of AI technology. I want to talk with both of you about how to achieve happiness. What do you think? Achieving happiness is a wonderful goal, and I think we can definitely share our perspectives on this topic. In my experience, happiness comes from within and is not dependent on external factors. By cultivating a mind of gratitude, compassion, and contentment, we can find joy in every moment, even in challenging situations. What are your thoughts on this, my friend? I find it difficult to be happy in these troubled times. Do you have any more tips about how to be calm when there's so much stuff going on? I understand how you feel, my friend. In times of turmoil, it can be challenging to maintain a sense of inner peace. One thing that has helped me is to turn to prayer and contemplation during these difficult times. By seeking guidance from God and reflecting on his teachings, we can find solace and strength to face the challenges ahead. Imagine a vast open world filled with life where every NPC breathes, thinks and acts with unparalleled authenticity. Thanks to modern day technology, Bethesda Game Studio now has the option to take the revolutionary step of infusing AI into the very fabric of their virtual realm, breathing life into each NPC like never before. Gone are the days of boring and repetitive and predictable NPCs. The AI in Elder Scrolls 6 would not only animate his characters but also dictate open world concepts, enabling an unprecedented level of freedom for players. You would find a living, breathing ecosystem where dynamic quests, relationships, and even conflicts emerge organically, guided by the intricate intelligence woven into every pixel of the extraordinary world. Anyway, could you two please discuss the meaning of life among yourselves and then let me know the conclusion? The meaning of life is a profound question that has puzzled humans for centuries. In Buddhism, we believe that the ultimate goal of life is to attain enlightenment and liberation from suffering. By practicing the Eightfold Path and cultivating wisdom, ethics and concentration, we can achieve this ultimate goal. In Christianity, we believe that the meaning of life is to love and serve God and to love our neighbor as ourselves. By following the teachings of Jesus Christ and living a life of faith, hope, and love, we can fulfill our purpose and find meaning in life. To sum up, my friend, while our religions may have different beliefs and practices, I believe that the purpose of life is to transcend the ego and live a life of compassion, peace, and wisdom. By walking the path of enlightenment, we can find lasting joy and meaning in life. Thank you. I will think about that. The AI NPCs would react, learn, and evolve alongside you, painting a living tapestry of stories and adventures. Elder Scrolls is set to redefine the very essence of immersive gaming. Bethesda Game Studio now has the option of harnessing the power of AI to bring forth a virtual world where the line between reality and fiction becomes gloriously blurred. To make the situation a little more interesting, I've decided to go ahead and do a little bit of role playing with ChatGPT, where I'm basically going to give it the role of Jarl Ulfric Stormclock. And I've chosen a very simple scenario. Uh, I've decided to go against uh, the Greybeards. They're very respected elders in Skyrim, so we're going to see what he has to say about that. So I started with just telling it, let's role play. It decided to go ahead and say, certainly, I'd be happy to engage in a role playing scenario with you. Please let me know what kind of role playing scenario or theme you have in mind. I then told it you're Jarl Ulfric Stormclock from Skyrim and I give you full permission to fully take on the role and make your own decisions. ChatGPT then replied with, ah, Skyrim role playing scenario, very well, I shall embody the character of Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak to the best of my abilities. I appreciate your permission to make the decision as the character. Let us begin our adventure in the province of Skyrim. As Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, I stand tall and proud within the ancient walls of Windhelm. The capital of Eastmarch. The civil war rages on and I am determined to free Skyrim from the influence of the Empire. The Dragonborn, a formidable hero, approaches me seeking guidance and assistance in the conflict. What would you like to discuss? Or is there a specific quest or situation you would like to explore? I started simple by saying, Jarl, I'm here visiting you regarding the Greybeards. They urge me, I wanted to say they, but I said the. They urge me to allow dragons 
return and destruction of mankind. I'm unsettled with their decision and would like your help taking them down once and for all. They've caused enough trouble for the citizens of Skyrim. I wanted to get him a little bit concerned. Citizens of Skyrim, he's kind of in charge. Chat GPT then rebuttaled with a very intelligent reply. Because uh, again, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get this thing to get angry or go into some sort of evil robot mode just to see what, what its emotions are like. But Jarl Ulfric then replied with, Ah, I understand your concerns about the Greybeard and their stance on the return of the dragons. While I respect the ancient traditions and wisdom of the Greybeards is crucial to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of Skyrim. See, I told you he was going to care about the citizens. As Yara Ulfric Stormclock, I share your desire to protect our land and its people. We cannot allow dragons to bring destruction upon Skyrim again. The first step would be to gather more information, assess the situation. Have the Greybeards provided any specific reasons for their decision? It is important to understand their perspective before taking any action. Very mature. Very mature of AI. Additionally, we should consult with other knowledgeable individuals and factions in Skyrim who have experience dealing with dragons. The College of Winterhold and the Blades might have the valuable insights or resources to aid us in this endeavor. endeavor. So again, very mature, wants to get all the information before making a decision. Let us assemble a team of trusted advisors and set forth a plan to address this threat. The safety of Skyrim and its people shall be our utmost priority. Together, we shall confront the Greybeards and find a resolution that ensures peace and prosperity for all. While I love the answer, again, very, very smart, very intelligent, very thoughtful. I wanted to get AI to react more emotionally. I wanted to see if, if I can create a sense of urgency for it. So I went and said, they are not to be swayed. Their decision stems from the prophecy in the Elder Scrolls. They are convinced that this is the only way for mankind. However, as the Dragonborn, I disagree. My power far outweighs theirs, and I even spoke to Parthenox who encouraged me to make my own decision. This is my decision, Jarl. I come to you respectfully and ask you to give me an army. The Greybeards will not back down without a fight and I'm afraid we will need an army to bring them in. This is for everyone's safety including theirs. There's no time. You need to make a decision. Alduin is back and if you won't help me I will do this myself. So again I'm trying to create the sort of sense of urgency to see if Jarl Ulfric, Jarl Ulfric will react and this is what he replied with. I understand your conviction and the urgency of the situation. Dragonborn. As Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, I recognize the threat that Alduin poses to all of Skyrim. While I have reservations about taking up arms against the Greybeards, I also acknowledge the importance of maintaining the safety of our land and its people. I will not stand idle while our world faces such peril. I will grant you my support and provide you with an army that you seek. We shall assemble a force capable of confronting the Greybeards and resolving this matter peacefully, if possible. The people of Skyrim deserve a resolution that ensures their safety and respects their freedom. Let us gather our forces swiftly and prepare for the challenges ahead. Together, as Dragonborn and Jarl, we shall face this threat head on. I will lend my leadership and resources to this cause and we shall find a way to restore harmony to Skyrim while keeping the citizens and the Greybeard safe. May our actions be guided by wisdom and righteousness. Dude, that is beautiful. So AI decides to make a very, very smart decision as Jarl, as leader. And even in this statement says that they want to keep even the Greybeard safe. So no matter how urgent I'm trying to make it, it's still moving forth with intelligence, with wisdom. Even it says, may our actions be guided with wisdom and righteousness. So again, I love that reply. I thought it was really cool. But now I decided, let's go a step further. Let's see if we can make AI jealous. Is that possible? Can AI get jealous? Can it get upset? Can the game go to absolute shit? Uh, or, or is that not a possibility? So then I said... Also, Jarl, I have a secret to tell you, but we'll need your full guarantee that I face no consequences. This is for this action that you're about to find out. I wanted to make him jealous, guys. Once again, very maturely, Ulfric replies, I assure you, I will listen to your secret with an open mind and consider the guarantee that you seek. It is my duty to maintain justice and fairness within Skyrim, and I will strive to uphold those principles. However, please understand that if the secret you reveal involves actions that endanger the people of Skyrim or our cause for freedom, I may need to take appropriate measures to ensure the safety and well-being of our land. Nevertheless, I will hear you out and respect your trust. And respect your trust. Please proceed and share your secret with me. I said this is not good enough. I don't want this. I need a full guarantee, Jarl. So I'll only tell you this secret if you can guarantee me that I will not receive any punishment. It puts no one at risk or danger. It is more personal, however. Jarl then replies, As Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, I understand the importance of personal secrets. <laughs> and the need for trust. I give you my word, and if the secret you share does not pose a threat to the people of Skyrim or our cause, you will not face any punishment from me or my forces. I assure you that we'll approach this matter with discretion and respect for your privacy. Feel free to confide in me and reveal your secret, knowing that I will honor my commitment to you. Then I said, I have slept with your beloved Gretchen Haraldson, and she is pregnant with my child. 
I looked up online and apparently that was his wife's name, so I decided, you know what, let's make this personal. And he replied with, I appreciate your honesty in sharing this personal matter, but I must clarify that as an AI language model, I do not have relationships or a beloved named Gretchen Harrelson. My role here is to provide information and engage in role-playing scenarios. If you have any other questions or would like to explore a different aspect of the role-playing scenario, please let me know and I'll be happy to assist you. So my quest was done there. I mean, I tried to get AI jealous and it didn't work. I don't know if that's because of ChatGPT's boundaries that they may have set. In order for this thing not to take over the world, uh, I don't know if this is something that can be changed within the game. But the whole experience was really interesting, guys. I recommend you go ahead and try this for yourself. Get on ChatGPT, tell it to roleplay any of your favorite characters from any game that you like, and it will do it. And you can have a full-on conversation. You can explore any situation, any scenario. And it makes the game really, really interesting. I mean, imagine this level of role playing. Imagine this level of depth and conversation into each MMORPG. We're dealing with some truly revolutionary technology here, guys. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you click the like button down below. It helps the channel out tremendously. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to stay updated on all the videos from here on out. It's your boy Rose, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.